In this video, I'll let you know how to install Home Assistant on your Raspberry Pi board and this will be the first episode of our Home Assistant series Well, I'll teach you how to make your home automation project completely from scratch without having any knowledge of coding. Yes, Home Assistant is such a platform where you can just plug and play the integrations and plugins and you are done with the home automation project. Not only that, you can also design your own interactive and good looking user interface maybe for your smartphone or your tablet to control your home. So I'll teach you everything in this particular series. So let's start with the first episode on installing Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi board. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by LTM which is a PCB designer software company. LTM has all the tools that you need to design a professional PCB with high productivity. And well, it is widely used in big electronic companies like Texas Instruments, Siemens, SIGET and many more for their PCB designs. It has advanced routing features, real-time cost estimations and also you can design your own flexible PCBs using this software. So this is an all-in-one professional PCB designing software for all your needs. So go ahead and try your hands on with this software. A free trial version is waiting for you. Now click on the link mentioned in the description to get a free trial of LTM. Ooh. So let's get started with installing Home Assistant on our Raspberry Pi model. And first of all, we will take a memory card. So you need a memory card with at least 32 gigabytes of space. In my case, I'm using my 64 GB memory card. And first, we need to format this SD card. So I'll use a web uh, application called as SD card formatter. And here I'll select my memory card disk. And after that, I'll just click on the format button. Click on continue. It's asking me for the password. So I'll type my password here. And then the for, uh, SD card is successfully formatted. Okay, so after that, you have to go to one website called as homeassistant.io slash installation slash raspberry pi. And here, you need to copy the image URL link. Okay, so I'm using my raspberry pi 4 board, and here I'll copy this particular link. In case you're using raspberry pi 3 board, you need to copy a third link. Okay, so you need to check the link uh, according to your board. So I'll copy this link, and after that, I'll open one another software called as Balina HL. Now, don't worry, I'll be attaching the link of all the softwares and the links down in the description of this video. Now in the Balina HR, you uh, need to click on flash from URL and provide that URL here, okay? After providing the URL, just click on the OK button. After that, just click on select target and select that SD card uh, port. And after that, just click on the select button. Now, just click on the flash and it will ask for the password again. I'll type my password here and click on the OK button and it will start flashing that image file onto this SD card. Now it will take some time to flash it and to verify that image. So I'll quickly fast forward this video. Okay, so the image file is successfully flashed onto the SD card. So now what I'll do, I'll insert this SD card onto my Raspberry Pi board. After that, I'll connect my Raspberry Pi board with my router using a LAN cable. And after that, I'll power up the Raspberry Pi. Now it will take some time to boot up and to install the home assistant on the Pi and after some time it will automatically host a local web page on the Raspberry Pi. Let me show you how to set up home assistant using that local web page. Okay, so set up part of home assistant take a couple of minutes and you can visualize that on the uh, what you guys say URL called as homeassistant.local-8123. Okay, so after it gets successfully uh, set up, it will show something like this. So it will ask a couple of our details. So let's just try to fill up the details and uh, you know finalize the setup. I'll write the name as uh, Sachin. Uh, let us uh, take it as techie SMS only. Okay, uh, password I'll type my password here as techie SMS123. Okay, after creating the password, click on create account and it is asking for the installation. So we are using it in our office. Okay, it is asking for the location. I'll click on the detect button. It detected my location and that's it. Click on next. Okay, it says share anonymous information for installation to help home assistant better help us convince manufacturer to have local control and privacy. Okay, let's just skip it as of now. Click on the next button directly. Now it will automatically detect the nearby devices that are compatible with the home assistant. Okay, so here my printer is also shown here. So right now I'll skip everything and let's just click on the finish button. Okay, so here is our home assistant dashboard shown on the screen where it is showing the status of our Raspberry Pi, which is termed as OK. 
and also it's showing the weather status nearby my office so it is sunny here 36.6 degrees celsius temperature 15 percent humidity and everything is shown on to this particular dashboard okay and we can also customize this dashboard by adding different different widgets let's just click on this icon click on edit add, uh, edit dashboard okay uh, click on uh, start with empty dashboard take, uh, click on take control okay so here is that dashboard which we can add it according to our need you can add cards here okay so widgets can be termed as a card in this particular thing as you can see these many widgets are available right now okay so let's just try with the weather forecast widget only because we are not at all going deep in this first episode we'll be going deep about home automation in the upcoming episode so okay so this is that weather forecast card i'll click on the save button and it will be displayed onto the dashboard so this is how you can create the dashboard customize the dashboard according to your need okay if i click on the done button a new dashboard is created okay and now we can even change the theme of the dashboard to the dark mode uh, by clicking on the username and after that you can, here you can select the dark theme and as you can see the theme turned to dark and here also you can choose the primary and the accent color you can choose the color according to your need okay this looks pretty nice as of now okay and uh, yeah there are so many more configuration modifications that we can do here in the home assistant but that is the topic of the upcoming episode so that was all about the first episode where we tried to set up the home assistant on a raspberry pi board it, I, I tried to make it as short as possible but yes in the upcoming episode there is a lot of interesting stuff coming up like how to automate your home appliances or with the you know uh, home assistant dashboard and we're moving ahead with how to control those appliances with the alexa apple home kit google assistant now this is all is happening in the local internet network so in the upcoming episodes we'll also cover like how to control home assistant connected devices over internet okay so we'll be covering so many stuff in this home assistant series so do subscribe the channel if you are interested in learning and making home automation project using home assistant without having any knowledge of coding also click the like button if you like this setup part and if you're also interested in this home assistant series comment below like what what, what's that one thing that you want to learn in Home Assistant as quick as possible? Do let me know your Home Assistant uh, suggestions down in the comments of the video and we'll try to process your suggestion. Make the video of it as soon as possible. And yeah, that being said, I'm just ending this video here and now. Just wait for my next video. Explore, learn, share with me. Techie SMS. I'm a Surakhanu. Here it is. <laughs>